Hey friends, it's Janie, Certified Feline Training and Behavior Specialist with Wild at Heart. I'm talking quietly because I'm inside the shelter, but I wanted to show you how I work with two cats who are completely traumatized after being surrendered to a shelter. Cinderella is seven years old and Hammer Time is five years old. They are both front declawed. Their guardian passed away and they were surrendered to the shelter a few days ago. Cinderella is for sure the least fearful of the two. So I started with her. I immediately tried treats. That's my go-to. She had no interest in treats. I tried a toy, no interest in the toy. So I had to dig deep and I put some silver vine on the end of the wand toy. And this is what happened. What do you think? Using the end of a wand toy is a wonderful way to make physical contact without actually having to not only physically touch the cat with your hands, but also prevent reaching in to their hide place, which I never ever recommend. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's a good girl. I wanted to try to introduce play again and using the end of the wand toy is a great way to try to introduce play in a very non-threatening way. And what I'm looking for is for the cat to track the movement of the toy with their eyes. And then I felt comfortable introducing the actual tangible part of the wand toy. I tried a couple and landed on one of my favorites, the tassel toy, and she played. Good girl, good girl. Once Cinderella started sticking her head out of the hidey hole and rubbing her face and cheeks on the perimeter, I simply just placed my hand on the outside and allowed her to rub against my hand if she chose to. This is a wonderful way to give cats consent to touch. And you will see that I don't actively pet her. I place my hand and allow her to come forward to touch my hand. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And then I was able to actively pet her, but I just do a couple pets and then I give her a break. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And after a little bit of time, it progresses from there. Can I kiss you? Her brother, Hammer Time, way more terrified, way more shut down, but I did immediately just start with the silver vine like I did with her. That didn't seem to have any real effect on him, and so I went back to my original game plan, which was treats, and just because the treats didn't work with Cinderella, I thought I would try it with Hammer Time using my little claw so I could present him some fresh tuna without reaching into his hiding place. And sure enough, he ate the tuna right away. Good boy, Mr. the tuna. Oh my gosh, is the too nice. Then I did some cross petting using the end of the wand toy and I was focused on Cinderella's cheeks because that's where her safe scent glands are. And I wanted him to be able to smell that on the end of the wand toy. And I noticed that he just started to relax. Yes, that's a good boy. That's a good boy. You're protecting your brother, I know it good sister. And I presented the end of one of my wand toys just to see his reaction and it was great because he reached his head forward and he smelled the toy. Cinderella exited the hidey hole and I felt like 
It was such a show of trust, allowing me more access to her brother. I was able to use my little claw wand to actively pet him and I finally heard him purr. I just noticed his body language change. His body became more relaxed, his face became more relaxed, and his eyes became more relaxed and he started to give me those slow blinks that show me that he is feeling better, more relaxed, and trusting me a lot more. He's a good boy. That's a good hammers. Yes. That's a good hammers. That's a good hammers. Yes. That's a good hammers. I show this intentionally because I see quite a few people on this platform who, in my opinion, do terrible things to cats. So if you see someone that has a cat locked in a cage and they are wearing oven mitts and they are forcefully petting a cat and the cat is completely terrified, just know that's not okay. It's not okay to lock a cat in a cage and force yourself onto them while the cat is literally doing everything that they can to get away from you but they can't because they're locked in a cage. Cats deserve better, cats deserve consent, and cats deserve their freedom. And cats should not be locked in cages and they should not be forced to socialize with a human being that is terrifying them. And you should speak up. If you see someone posting videos of them terrifying and traumatizing cats, speak up. The cats need us to speak up.